somebody just asked on YouTube to do a quick video about posting variations. They said various, but I think they meant variations. And this is actually something I was just doing yesterday, so it's really easy for me to do a video about it. First, let's find a product that has some variations. Um, what's an item I would actually want to post that has variations? That's tricky. How about, let's just search for a, uh, what are my favorite items? Let's search for a baby item that has variations that I haven't posted. Because typically I don't post items with variations just because they produce problems when you're bulk posting. But you can use the single item lister in Hydro Listers to post items with variations. So let's show you guys how to do that here. Okay, so here we have an item that has four available variations. We just need the one link, and then that's all that we need for the moment. We're going to launch Hydra, and then from here, I'm going to try and post all four of these different variations. So we're going to open four occurrences of the single item lister. Here we go. And so in each one, I'm going to take type the same URL. I'm going to add skuopt colon Walmart. So that's hashtag S-K-U-O-P-T colon Walmart. This is going to prevent the repricer from looking at marketplace sellers when the item goes out of stock. Okay, So we're going to copy this and put it in each one and then load them. And we want to load all of them so that we're not waiting and we're always working while the program is working, right? So normally I'd have like 10 to load, but for now we're going to look a little bit more here. So this isn't the best option because I'm not sure how it's going to handle these separate colors. It may handle them quite well. Sometimes the main listing page has all of the different photos that you might need, which that I know works. We'll see how this works. Has it pulled it? No, it hasn't populated yet. Oh, here we go. All right. So now this is just what would get posted if the item was bulk posted. So you can see that there's tons of photos here, and the title isn't optimized, and everything else is just like the default values, right? So what we're going to do up here, interesting. So it only sees three of the variations for some reason. Does that mean one of these is out of stock? Oh, look at that. This one is only sold by Baby Haven, whereas these three are sold by Walmart. So Scoogrid is ignoring the Baby Haven one because I put that Scoo opt Walmart piece of information at the end of the URL. So we can eliminate this fourth one here because we're only going to use these three tabs. So the first one is going to be the Aqua Ogi one. So I need to look here and see what that color is. I'm assuming it's this one right here, because that's more of an aqua. And then this one is the gray one, blue zigzag, and celery zigzag. So we have two zigzag kinds, and then, all right. So we need to eliminate most of these photos for this listing, because we need to get rid of everything that isn't the aqua kind. I'm probably just going to... I don't want to eliminate all of the photos, so what I'm going to do is make sure that the main photo is this photo by clicking this star. So you always want to have at least three photos, so I'll include these other photos. They don't show the photo of the right item, but they kind of suggest what its use is going to be for. And as long as the color is in the title, the main picture, and the description, it's not going to create too many problems having photos later in the listing that show other available colors. Um, if this photo right here with the crib was the main photo, that would be a different story. People look at the main photo to determine what they think of the item, right? So let's add the color here. Aqua Agui, American Baby Company, 100% cotton, sweater, knit, blanket, baby, uh, comfort? I don't know how to, uh, baby blanket. I'm just going to add one keyword here. I'm not going to worry too much about it. Because this is almost 80, so we, we almost have most of the keywords. A lot of these aren't, like, the best necessarily. Like, you know, American Baby Company takes up a lot of keywords, and not too many people are going to be searching for that, but 
that doesn't really matter. I just want to show you guys how to do variations. So at this point, we're done here with this one. Our title is right. I usually also put it in here, aqua, agi. There you go. And we can exit out of these. And then all you do is click list item. If you want to, you can click the spin text item. And what that's made for is when you have, you're copying people's descriptions and you want to reword them. So all it does is it just takes the sentences in the paragraph and then change the order of them. So it tries to avoid doing that with words, obviously, because you need the words to be in order, but you don't need the sentences to be in the same order. Because I already have a format for my listings, there's not really any point in me doing it. But all right, let's move forward there. So we're going to click list item, and now we're going to go to the next one. So we go here, and we click blue zigzag. And now I'm going to type that into the title, blue zigzag. And then sweater knit baby blanket. Good, good, good. So we're going to have to eliminate all of the photos that are unnecessary. But before we do that, I wanted to put that in the title there. So let's look at the original item. Which one is blue zigzag? OK, blue zigzag, so is gray zigzags with one zigzag stripe. And it actually has the correct photo there, which is pretty awesome. So what we're going to do is this is our main photo. So we're going to click the star. And then we're going to uncheck all of these other items because they're not what's for sale. We're going to keep both of these photos. Oh, wait a second. That's, that's a different zigzag, isn't it? That's like a green zigzag. Oh, all right. So we have a green zigzag and a blue zigzag. I clicked the wrong main photo. So let's unclick that. And then here is, here we go. That's the blue zigzag. And this seems to be the same photo. So we're going to keep these two and then these two. Okay, so we have four photos, and this is the main one. And blue zigzag, blue zigzag, good, 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 good. All right. Oh, so if I ever wanted to, I can just see how I changed the title up here. I can click this update in description button, and it's going to change the title in the description to match my title up here. So I don't actually have to copy and paste this blue zigzag thing and put it down here. It's going to auto do it as long as I click the button. So now we're going to click list item and move on to the last variation of this item, which is the celery zigzag. So celery zigzag, sweater knit baby blanket. And so now we're going to click update in description and then scroll down and look, celery zigzag, it updated it. So we didn't even need to. So now this is going to be the main photo. It's the same kind of one we had before, except with a different design. And so now let's get rid of all these other photos, but keep two of the crib photos that are closest, which I'm going to go with these two. And so then we have all of our photos, we have our variation, and everything is bueno. All right, guys, I hope you appreciated that. That's just me showing you how to list items to SkewGrid. And again, you want to work with as many tabs as you can handle at once, because if you're ever doing this, you're just waiting, you could be working on something. So by opening multiple tabs and working on all of them at once, then you eliminate the time that you're waiting for the program to start doing stuff, right? So it's really, really helpful to work that way. All right, guys, see you next time. Ciao.